Welcome to the Rick and Bub Studios. What are you doing? What's up? Oh, I'm just sitting here getting a little advice from the from the boss. Oh. The headline says Tuberville do uh, Dogs, Texas, or something. I got news for you, Tommy. He's hey, joking. Tommy, that's a joke, but that's on you. You, you, you heard you, me say, he, hey, you're broadcast. He, yeah, he came up with that on his own. We didn't go to him. We didn't go, hey, man, what about Texas? No. <laughs> Y'all were talking about that lady stealing uh, cookies? Oh, yeah. Where, where are they at? I mean, are those available on the black market now? Do you know? Maybe at a slight discount? Ow. It was all Girl Scout cookies? And those aren't even that good. Wow, wow, wow. I, I, Why you always got a crap on Girl Scout they're cookies, not that Greg? Good. They're not In the world of cookies, they're not that I would good. Greg, I they're just not. Good. Well, what's, what's your favorite cookie then, Greg? My favorite cookie? I like an Oreo. I like an E.L. Oh, an Oreo. Real original. I like an E.L. Fudge. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite is when the Oreos are dipped in white chocolate at Christmas. What's your favorite cookie? Oreo. Just Oreo? Okay. Double stuff. Double stuff. Double stuff. Double stuff is too much. No, stuffing. it's not. When it comes to an Oreo, there's never too much. How about them real thin ones they got in there? I don't like them. You know I like them thick. <laughs> I like chocolate chip cookies made at home. Toll House, make those hot, bring them out, eat them hot with white whole milk. Would that count? That counts. And then if you go package, it's the, the classic, nobody mess with it, Oreo. But I don't eat dough. I think that's weird. I can't remember. It's this chocolate chip cookie dough, and it comes in a thing that looks like with a snap-on lid, and I just eat spoonfuls of it when I want a cookie. I'm with you. I love oh. Oh. Yeah. oh! Oh! We all know who Neil Young is, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Neil Young was in a, his first band he was ever in was called the, uh, I think it was the, I forget what the name of it was. <laughs> anyway, do you guess who the lead singer in his first band was? Rick James. Yeah, we were talking about spills at restaurants. You know, there was a time when my kids were all little. I didn't know what it was like to have a meal and not have a spill. I work for the power company. A lot of times we have these safety symposiums and these things, and where they would get some of us to get up and be like the host. So I was up there in front of the room, and the majority of the room weren't crew people. This was more uh, office people. Well, there's a guy in there that used to work with me who got, praise Lord, it didn't kill him, but he got he got burnt doing line work, and he lost about three of his fingers. And he had moved into a, a company job, you know, so he was at that meeting. I had to ask some question, the answer was a number. So he was in the back holding his hands up. I said, Mark, you ain't got enough fingers to get this one right. What's wrong with the last you? Time that's what is wrong with you? There's a dog painted like a tiger. Who is this? This is Tiger J. Do you want to come in? They're talking about you. You know, I <laughs> I'm kind of curious, what kind of paint do you use on a dog? That's not paint. You don't paint a dog. It's not, <laughs> you don't he gets done every eight weeks. He's been like this for over two years. Whoa, well, so this is not just for the no, SEC tournament? He is the mascot. So he always <laughs> looks this way? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this this is how your dog looks every day? Every day. Okay. <laughs> wow. Hey Greg, how do you feel about traffic? How do I feel about traffic? I hate traffic. I don't mind driving distances. Like people go, ooh, Greg, you drive in every morning. That's fine because I'm not in traffic. I can't stand traffic. Something that really helps in traffic though is get you some sunflower seeds or something like that. It almost turns into just like, all right, well, this is just chill snack time. It, uh, it's mental. Sure. Worst thing ever is on the interstate, and all of a sudden something's need to happen. When that, you turn that corner and you just stop, and you just the see the cars just going and going and going. And I'm then like I start getting off on roads yeah. that I don't know where I'm at. Nope. I'd rather move and take 10 minutes longer to get where I'm going. I'd than take that. two yeah. hours longer. Greg, two hours is a long time, buddy. <laughs> Speedy, they're faking, they're, they're faking sunscreen out here, man. It's hard as a bald man to be out there in this. 
What is the worst you've ever been burned? I was at the beach and and got stuck out in it and and just didn't have a hat. Stupid me. You learn from your mistakes. I was so burnt, y'all. It peeled. Do you remember how bad it was? Yes, yes. And you loved it. I just, I mean. I'm sorry. I'm smiling and laughing. Yeah, right yeah. Now. Do you remember that time you had a hat on? Yeah. Well, it looked like it looked like a Q-tip. You know, it's like. It was not good, buddy. Like this. What's the worst you ever got sunburned, Helms? Well, that'd be uh, Panama City, summer of 98. That was before Jesus, and there was probably some drinking going on. Uh, not one of my prouder moments. Cocoa butter does better than aloe vera as far as sunburns go. Aloe vera takes the burn away, but it doesn't keep you from peeling. There's nothing worse, man. You can't sleep. You can't no. shower. No. You can, anybody Shou say, hey, buddy, how's it going? You're yeah. like, ah! He said, it's really one of my best, my biggest pet peeves at movies at people. And she said, she continued to activate her phone. He said, when I asked her to stop, she kept refusing. Then I told her maybe she should go outside to text, at which point she left the theater and never came back. But it gets better. They had driven to the movie in her car. <laughs> she acknowledged that the man had called her to ask her to pay him back, but she refused because he took me out on a date. All right, let me say this. These two people, nobody needs to be on a date with. No. I'm talking no, about either no, one no. of them. Hey, Rick, what's the worst date you've ever been on? I actually was fixed up on a date one time with a woman who had split personalities. Would like to have known that. She talked in different voices and became different people. All I could picture was where my body would be left. What's, uh, what's the worst date y'all have ever been on? We were talking about that guy suing his date and stuff. <laughs> Oh, look who it is! Just a couple of lovebirds here back in the studio. Look who it is! Hey, 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 are you guys married yet? Lovebirds in the studio. Lovebirds in the studio. It's fun because you're on the married side now. So like, oh, are y'all dating? You guys been kissing? Do you smooch in the back seat? <laughs> uh, what's the worst date you've ever been on? But you know, besides anyone with this guy. Um, our first date, he was really hungover. <laughs> oh, dude! Did not know that Bubba puts baby powder on every day. Did not know that. 24 years, I didn't know that. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I use powder every single day, too. For what? What do you think, Greg? Well, you're a sweater. You do sweat. Yeah. I'll tell you what else. Aquaphor is a good go-to for red rump, too. So is Boudreaux's butt paint. And D's! That's, That's an actual real product. Good. That's yeah, an we actual used product. that when we did Bobox Bounty. Yeah, it's DZ. And it's it's actually, I think it says D's Nuts. There was no... It, that's the name That's of the it. name of the product. And it's for was, bikers. Yeah, we, we used it in the Bow Box Bama and neither one of us got gold. No, it, it works. It'll burn a little bit at first. It's got that cool burn. It's a little slicky. Yeah. But it's called D's. I'm so grossed out right now. Oh, no! Did, did, did no! Does that not feel good? No! Does that not feel good? No! Oh my god! So, for your last day, you get to smash some bread. Yeah, I'm left handed, I gotta go this way. Greg, my gosh! What is wrong with you? And learn learned all these life lessons you learned here and try to apply them. But then again, don't, maybe not. But, and look, at your next job you go to, there's not going to constantly be a camera on you at all times. But there she, won't be as much free food either. No, and it's not yeah. a bad thing, but you won't I have to worry about it. And you notice you're in a lot of the videos, so you, you have, it's like she has her own scrapbook of the show. I do. Because of these videos, you know? I do. We all do, Greg. It's really awesome. We all do. <laughs> Can I include this in the documentary? Oh, okay, okay.